Hey guys, I device help here, and today I want to talk about bugs and glitches within iOS. A lot of people were asking me, how do you find these? How do you go about finding these? So I decided why not make a video showing you how I go about finding these because I really don't spend a lot of time. It's all about understanding features and what they do. So you might have watched a video of mine a few weeks back where I bypassed the lock screen without having to enter the passcode and gaining access to photos and contacts within iOS 10 and I didn't have to enter the passcode and I used an accessibility feature called voice voiceover and that's just uh, a feature that allows the uh, visually impaired to use it and to use the iPhone without having to look at the display of course for those who can't see but uh, in this video I want to show you how you can understand the way the operating system works and how I find these glitches just so if you want to have fun with it and try to find some yourself you can do so so first let's begin here with control center here so let's bring up control center a simple task here uh, something that's not very practical I'm just going to show you for the sake right here you have the volume scrubber correct so right here we're swiping left and right if I slide my finger down the screen you see that the action still works so immediately I know that if I go to the top the action will still work Therefore, if I tap on the screen and get rid of control center, I can still put the brightness up and down without the need of control center. That's pretty neat. That's just simply understanding iOS and the touchscreen, how everything works within iOS. Of course, if I let go, I can't continue doing that. A different function takes place. Same thing applies for volume. Of course, if I do the same thing, you see here that the function is still the same. I can put the volume up or down, as you can see there, with the display just like that because it still remembers the action on control center of course as I mentioned if you let go then it goes back to normal but that's just an idea on how it works and how I understand what features do that therefore are uh, finding glitches now another one is 3d touch on 3d touch devices uh, a lot of people think that it's pressure sensitive on the spot that you're pressing so if I press on this icon I can only press there and that's the only function that I'll get but that's not true if you 3d touch just not press it as hard you see there the blur but the 3d touch effect is still present just not the action you can see that I can bring the finger all the way up to the top of the display and then engage that action right there as simple as that uh, now 3d touch the display itself is uh, pressure sensitive so if I start an action here as a matter of fact I can do multiple icons at once as you can see here boom let me go ahead and do that again multiple icons see there in the background one two one two there do it again one two so uh, it's understanding 3d touch is understanding the OS and the functions of the features another quick example here in settings under the generals accessibilities and display accommodations we have uh, invert color now invert color can be enabled but if you try enabling night shift it's going to disable one and enable the other just like that or vice versa so how do you go about again this is all about understanding how iOS works and this is how I find these so I can turn on invert color and ask Siri turn on a night shift Siri's going to turn on a night shift now Siri doesn't physically turn off the toggle for me therefore enabling both things simultaneously invert color and night shift you see it there night shift on invert color on while previously I couldn't do that see that so again understanding the OS and the functions of the features and in this case Siri understanding what Siri can do and the possibilities with Siri other minor glitches and things that have been discovered before of course the no label bug if you take a look here at the labels you see that you have the labels of course uh, beneath the icons when you bring up control center and you lift it up just a tiny bit you see that the labels are gone so right there is an indication that once you bring up control center the labels automatically disappear so that's a quick hint on something that's changed with an iOS that you can kind of sort of work around and then just kind of make it disappear and that's what uh, a person did I can't remember the person who discovered this glitch uh, but the person who discovered this glitch kind of went about you know just uh, looking at the OS seeing what what's possible and then removing the labels with other uh, gestures or with other things here now the other one uh, that I want to talk about is the right here the three buttons or the three uh, dots here on the middle of the screen one takes to the other page once back to the center and then the other one will take you to the widgets so if I apply 3d touch and click on that button I can create a 3d touch uh, widget on the widget on top of the widget. just kind of weird again understanding what will happen with a certain action can create a glitch same thing applies for the status bar glitch that was discovered if you double tap the home button and you take a look at the main card 
the status bar automatically disappears. So right then and there, you can catch on to that and say, okay, so if it disappears when I do this, there's gotta be something else that will make it uh, stay that way. So another person found this right here. You see the status bar goes away if you double tap on the home button while on the multitasker. It's just ideas after ideas and behind ideas. <laughs> it's it's kind of a lot to think of, but it's fun to do. And the last thing I want to talk about is uh, assistive touch. It's right here under accessibilities and accessive touch right here. Turn it on. You get this button right here. Now this button here allows you to choose a menu of actions here. But if you go into these settings where it says here uh, custom uh, settings, you can change this to one icon. Okay, and one icon can be customized to do whatever. So if I choose lock device, now I have a virtual uh, lock right here for my display or for my iPhone without having to physically press on the power button. Again, no glitch, something built into the OS, but just gives you ideas on how you can play with menus and access different settings and different things within iOS. I hope you guys enjoy this video on how I discover some of my glitches. And if you find some glitches yourself, hit me up on Twitter. I'll be sure to credit you here on the channel if you have a really good one for me. It's been iDevice Help. I hope you guys have a great day and I will catch you guys on the next one. Peace.